In Abukokani Fing Municipality, a group of young innovators are transforming the auto mechanics industry with major headways in electrical engineering, developing the Gambia's first mini vehicles, locally called Tuk Tuk. The initiative is a significant milestone aimed at reducing the ecological damage of carbon, boosting public health for greener innovations, reducing less harmful emissions that can lead to a better air quality, which means fewer health problems. These young electrical engineers successfully manufactured an electric minibus, scooter, electrical tractor, a cedar and a handicapped cycle, all electrified with a rechargeable batteries that can last for days. Buxin Electronics is an electrical startup company run by three young Gambians with a vision to manufacture electric vehicles that are both environmentally and user-friendly to provide sustainable solutions to rising global fuel prices. Buxin Electronics aims to revolutionize the country's agriculture and transportation industry by harnessing the power of clean energy. The electric scooter is highly versatile in navigation, transversing smoothly through high urban traffic with ease making it both ideal and convenient. The electronic minibus is a true game changer in modern transportation with a spacious interior that can carry up to five people. The startup electric tractor is specifically designed for agricultural and industrial purposes. All these electronic vehicles do not require driving skills as one only needs to press the accelerator to move forward and the decelerator to move backwards. The CEO of Boxing Electronics, Abdul Qadir Jabi, said there is no doubt that electric vehicles are the future of driving and mobility because of the significant cost saving on running and maintenance. Jabi, who led a group of young auto mechanics, said it is a well-established fact that electric vehicles buyers spend much less on fuel and maintenance as they have fewer moving parts than gasoline engines, which makes them easier to maintain. As my colleagues say, we have built an electric scooter since last year. So this year we are on construction of electric minibus and electric tractor. So electric minibus that will tackle the um, the it will tackle the eminent transportation system in the Gambia here, and the the tractor will solve the our agricultural agriculture in terms of agricultural sector and um, construction. You know. So um, what inspired us to build the electric scooter? I can see um, this electronics. Um, it is part of me since I was very young. We have over um, 25 students coming from this different kind of school. Some people, they don't even go to school. Some people are dropped out. So we combine them, all of them together. We are training them in electronics. And now they are building their own even cars. So we are giving them those kind of mindset. So with that kind of mindset, you know, if you, don't, if you, if you are familiar, you, you, don't, you don't think about like going to Bagway because I'm, I'm making you to have those kind of mindset, right? So I'm changing their mindset, like they can able to do it. Enough capital is our problem, yes, to be frank, you know, because we are not doing that, that work that would generate the money we want. I said to Ayjalo, the treasurer and designer of Buxin Electronics, said oil and fuels as the dominant energy source cause a wide range of climate problems, but electronic vehicles offers a clean and better way of transportation for everyone. Jalo added that the increase in the number of electronic vehicles on our roads will no doubt reduce the impacts of climate change. This sleek and stylish vehicle combines convenience and sustainability. Um, it is equipped with a rechargeable battery um, that allows it to last for a significantly longer period of time before requiring a recharge. Moreover, the electric scooter is highly versatile, also making it ideal for urban environments. With its compact design, it can also be able to navigate through traffic with its ease. Um, as you can see, the solar panels are there. We are also trying on putting them on top of the electric minibus and the electric scooter whereby the battery will always be on the go charging system without depending on any external power source. Ibrahim Asise, the managing director of Buxin Electronics, revealed that electronic vehicles don't have gears, which ensures an excellent driving experience with no complicated controls. Sise said all that is required in driving electronic vehicles is accelerations, brakes and steering wheel to manage and enjoy a clean, convenient, safe and noise-free ride. My role for this company is the mechanical aspect, the engineering, how to manufacture the, the components and to make it stand. 
for my partner to come and electrify it to give li life to it, to make it possible to run. So these things, we build them by the materials available for us here. As you can see, the products, the way they are. So we build there first. We started with a electric scooter, which is relevant to, for students and everyone aspect. Because if you check the scooter, one charge of it can take you from Banjo to Brikama, Brikama to Banjo for one charge, and you can use it. And this is a scooter also which is powerful to carry two people the same distance is covered. The Gambia is on the start of products on paradigm, led by young innovators bent on revolutionizing the green economy in every sector. Sustaining this talent requires huge financing, which is a major challenge for these young electronic engineers who are seeking more support from government, philanthropies, private sector, and the international agencies to nurture collaborative partnership for development. Increasing the number of electronic cars on our roads can significantly help to reduce harmful air pollution for younger and upcoming generations, mitigating the country's carbon footprint. As the world combats global warming and drastic climate change, car buyers can also do their bits for the environment by shifting to electronic vehicles, which has zero tailpipe emissions and will ultimately help to save our ecology from climate change. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Omar P. Jallo.